Then. Okay, we want to talk about our girl Angie. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Happy birthday, Angie. Four months old. Isn't she a beauty? I remember when she was little, all the neighborhood would come because she was going to teach them, and she just, the kids loved her. She loved them. And she grew up, and the big people loved her, and she loved them. And Bayless Bell said that he kept bringing her peeps even after she was gone. And Mel Kahn said she was the best student in the whole university. He says that every time I see him. He's a prejudice. <laughs> I know a good one when I see one. That's right. <laughs> he belongs to us. Hey. Congratulations, sweetheart. Love you. You come a long way, baby. That's right. <laughs> My big sister is wonderful. Uh, I remember things, just so many memories uh, from her being a cheerleader in eighth grade, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, if it weren't for the Bobcats, the scoreboard would rust, <laughs> to helping people with their homework in college over at our folks' house who were as lost as a dog in a fog. Uh, she brought Brett into our life, which of course their family has now grown uh, more than once, and uh, we're very blessed to have all them in our family as well. Angie, um, you're my big sis, I love you. Uh, better yet, as we've gotten older, uh, you're one of my best friends. And uh, gosh, just so generous, fun, and funny. Um, I wish you the best on your birthday, and uh, love you. Go Shocks. Hey, Mom. Happy birthday. I want to share the thing I'm most grateful for is having you as uh, an example of what it means to be a woman. You're independent, you have a, a lot of passions, and I think the fact that you were really always wanting us to be interested in something, whether it was dance or swimming or soccer or whatever, just um, you know, making sure that we tried different things made us all become very passionate people who have a relationship to the world that's not based on just like material shit. And that's really important and it's really rare and just always being able to have conversations with you about career and professional stuff and always just being more interested in like my life and how I'm operating as an independent human rather than like when I'm going to pop out a grandkid or like, I don't know, just these kind of non like breaking traditional female stereotypes. You've always been an advocate for that. Even if you don't say you are the way you show up in the world, you are. And that's been your example. Um, that, I, as a woman, am not defined by my looks or my marital status or the amount of crap I have that there's something bigger to life. I think that that, that message has always been there, even if you haven't directly said it. And I'm very appreciative of that. I'm very appreciative and thankful to have a woman that I look up to and that has been my mo a model of how to be in the world as somebody that gives back that sees the world as like bigger and outside of themselves and yeah derives meaning from things that aren't material and those things are all you and I'm I know that I embody those things in my life from learning it from you love you happy birthday I just moved to Wichita in late 2002 and um I went to speak to the Wichita professor professional I was a professional I am a professional communicators club they're all saying no okay so anyway um i spoke and i told my sad story which is my father was quite tragically transferred from um, michigan to little rock arkansas in the middle of my sophomore year of high school and i thought everybody should feel sorry for me but as it turns out af after the thing angie came up to me and it was the first time i met her and she said um well my father was quite tragically transferred to little rock arkansas in my senior year of high school and i was like oh drop the mic you win Okay, and so we keep talking, and she's like, well, what school did you go to? And I said, St. Mary's, and she's like, oh, my God, so did I. So we right there on the spot formed, I, I'm not sure if that's necessary, um, the Mount St. Mary Academy for Girls Wichita Support Group. We've yet to have any meetings, but it's just great knowing that she's out there. Meet in on the end. <laughs> Give us the cue. Give us the cue. That's what she said.
Okay, girl, we're rolling. Okay. A N G I E Angie, Angie, we love thee. Woo! That's it. That's all you got. That's Shakespeare. Woo! Sassy sisters. What's more enthusiasm? Do you want to tell Grandma happy birthday? What? Yeah? Is it her birthday? <gasps> tell her happy birthday. Oh my gosh. <gasps> yeah. Happy 60th birthday, Grandma. Love. Hudson. A very, very happy birthday to you, Angie. Um, I'm so glad we're all able to be back in Wichita to help celebrate the Wichita some person that you are. Um, some of my favorite things about you are obviously your love of the Shockers, and um, I'll never forget the look on your face when you met your long lost son, uh, Ron Baker. Um, uh, thank you for instilling the love of the Shockers into me. It was, it's been nice to have them to cheer for during the, the rough years of K-State basketball recently. Um, I love your fascination with flowers and it always amazes me how uh, no matter when or where we could be walking along a sidewalk and you always, always know the, the name of a, a flower and I'm always learning new names from you and I'm always fascinated uh, along with you. And um, I think Shelly's video segment reminded me just your your laugh is one of the most contagious laughs um, that I've ever heard and you always tell a good story and, and know how to get uh, a whole room cracking up and um, so yeah those are some of my favorite things uh, I hope you have an amazing day an amazing weekend and um, I hope you know how much all of us love and care about you and hope you have an amazing birthday Happy birthday, Angie. I just wanted to say that I am so thankful that we get to work in the same field and that we get to see each other every few weeks or more because of that. I just think that's awesome. And I'm always so proud to tell people that you're my aunt. So I hope you have the best birthday and I love you. Happy birthday, Angie. I have so many wonderful memories of times that we spent together. I don't even know how I would pick just one. That would be like impossible. All I can say is that anytime I get together with you, Madeline McCullough, Cindy Mines, and Amy DeVault, it's just, it's just wonderful and fabulous. You are truly an outstanding woman, and I'm so glad I can call you my friend. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, fabulous birthday. Happy birthday. Bye. Happy birthday, Mom. Um, it's hard to decide between a favorite memory because there are so many good memories. Um, but I think one of my favorites is the surprise birthday party that you planned for me in uh, middle school. And it was Beatles theme. And you had all my friends make Beatles shirts. And um, which kind of leads me into one of my favorite things about you, which is you are so good at making people feel loved and special and appreciated. And you're really good at including people. You're very inclusive. I think that's something that um, our society just lacks so much um, and has for quite some time. So I think that's really neat. And I aspire um, to do just that um, every day and um, just to include people and and I really um, value that you are really good at making people feel loved and special. And so I strive to do that as well. So um, thank you for everything that you've taught me. And I love you so, so much. And I hope you have a really good birthday. Happy birthday, Angie. Happy birthday, Angie. Hope it's great. Happy birthday, Angie. We are all so lucky to get to know and love you and know someone as positive as you are. Like literally every single time I see you, you're either smiling 
are laughing and just bringing such joy to any room that you walk into. And I'm so lucky to know someone that shares my obsession and love for Brene Brown. Hi, hon. How you doing? Hope you're having fun listening to uh, the memories of a lot of your family and friends, and it's been a great day for you. When uh, Kelsey first mentioned putting this, this video together of uh, finding a fond memory to share with you, I thought, wow, 40 years, 38 being married and two when we were dating, two and a half for those who are doing the math. But 40 years to pick out a fond memory, what a task. And I thought, you know, the, the big things are pretty easy to pull from, such as our wedding or different weddings, different parties we've gone to ski trips, different vacations, and of course, the birth of our children. Um, but as you and I have always said uh, and agreed, the little things in life are the real big things. So I'm going to focus on some of what might seem like smaller memories or smaller events, but they were really big events. And so the first event is when I first met you, and that is always stuck in my mind. It was the morning